Here you go, my friend. Look at this. Little God bullet. Damn. Oh, 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 oh glassy. <laughs> Give him a plug on the video, not that he needs it. <laughs> from my little, <laughs> my little channel. So I, I have to be totally illegal to put it into the water over there. But I'm thinking, you know, Who's five ask? minutes. Hell yeah. Just to see how it's got set. No Well, but, I uh, lifted from here, and you two lifted from those sides. Yeah, I think that. How far can I walk before I gotta cross them? Wait a minute, how can I this up? You, how's that feel, Jim? So the question is, should we go stick it in water and see what happens? Let's do it. I'm going to put the oars in the back of the car and the, uh, the shower at four. I'm buff. We're moving. We're moving. Hopefully We're there's moving. a picture of the boat back there. <laughs> <laughs> we are just amazing. Is this the first movement? December 30. We're going to get this thing in the water and Got a fisherman. That's a little surprising. But he's a cold fun bitch. He must really not like being at home. <laughs> and uh, I'll just use this guy as a bow line. You're at the water. Somebody watching this video? That's Debbie. Oh, well, that, you know, I mean, that's not as, that's not that much worse than some other trailers. I could have rode on the tongue and pushed it in. I bet that's nippy. Yeah. See, we, uh, oh, look at that. How are we going to get that back? Uh, that is icy cold. But, you know, it's not a problem. Get in. Scans and water. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, ready? Yeah. Bring your float in. Robin All would right, be so Robin would be so proud. You're clear. Look at that, that thing. Perfect. It's a lot of work to give your ass a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Look at this guy. Awesome. Yeah, that looks great in water. I think it's just exactly where I wanted it to sit. No leaks, eh? <laughs> I got flex seal. I got flex seal. <laughs> Boy, that's cold. Well, tell me what I can do to help here. There you go. She's not quite centered. My bow line. No, that's not bad at all, though. Hell yes. No problem. Yeah, that's doable. Especially in the summer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and if you gotta.
That's yeah. bloody amazing. How are you, how are you feeling? That? You want an extra? Need to figure out something to lock the bow in so slam on the brakes in the freeway and it's not going to come up into your car and all that kind of bad stuff. We just got back from Great Mid Midwest Yachts. Tiller swivel and uh, tiller extension. I've made my own in the past, but uh, this will fit this racket exactly. Pintles and gudgeons, a little fitting. Uh, for here, for extra bow line attachment and possible eventual jib. Thinking about a jib. We'll turn this into the main cleat. Fasten in here. Going to have to reposition this block a little bit. But yeah. So just got back from that. And what's waiting for me but the sale from Duckworks. Also, day after launching, other pieces are falling into place. good size sale. It's 2019 and I'm days away from uh, heading off to visit uh, our team in Hyderabad, India and then uh, in Linköping, Sweden. So we did some packing, did some thinking about uh, presentations I got to do but let's see if we can't make some decisions about these fins. Daggerboard and the rudder. Kind of from a ratio standpoint, sunfish is a common boat uh, that has about the same sail area, 75 square feet. We're heading for 85 on, on our sailing rowboat. And wetted area for dagger board, 8.5 by 27, uh, 8.5 by 16 for the rudder wetted area. The previous boat for Brian and Kim, pretty close to that. Uh, and it had less sail area, I think 65 square feet. So I came away though feeling like I wanted a little bit bigger rudder. So here's what I'm hoping we can make. We got 15 and a half inches through the dagger board trunk, eight and a quarter width to leave some some play there. We don't need it to be tight in, and a little cap uh, to keep it from sliding all the way through. And 29 inches by eight and a quarter or eight and an eighth wetted area for the dagger board trunk. Good target. The width of the uh, area of the rudder coming down behind the transom just use this and uh, we'll have the center is going to be our main piece of rudder and then cheek pieces until we get down here and the cheek pieces I'll make by resawing so I can't go too much more than twice the height of my table saw blade to resaw that stuff so I'm looking at cheek pieces basically 17 by four and three quarters and then figure out exactly what to do for all of this with the sapele we have. A little bit of a puzzle. I think uh, one way to do it is the dagger board would come to here and uh, that leaves plenty for the main piece of rudder but it's an intriguing possibility to use this guy 
because we get more width and we and we can get as wide as we want with the rudder. Uh, there's no trunk. Daggerboard trunk is just under 7 eighths. This is 15 sixteenths. Take it down and actually try it in the boat. Uh, we got some serious flaws in this piece of wood, but it is very appealing to get a wider rudder. I'm going to give that a try. It needs to go through the thickness planer so that the cheek pieces can have a good solid surface here. I don't want it to rip itself apart, so I think what I'm going to try to do is uh, band saw it to rough shape and then thickness plane it and then make our cheek pieces. It's uh, not ideal to two-piece this, obviously. I think I'm going to try to biscuit, and uh, these will be laying over top of it. And uh, maybe make the top pieces here and uh, do a little glue in action. That'll do. Well, to start, made the big decisions. Uh, see how they turn out. Almost there. I'm gonna decide how far above the edge of the transom the tiller is gonna be, how to make the tiller, and uh, then we can cut the contour of these guys and glue them on and start shaping all this. All right, with that and the dagger board uh, being proved out for size, <clears throat> next steps, contouring and shaping. Well, this is close to the last purchase, I uh, think for the boat, a bunch of nuts and bolts to put the rudder hardware on, and bought the wood I hope for the spars. And I'm thinking out of one of these two two by fours, I can get uh, a, a good boom and a gaff.
Uh, pushing on just a little bit more. I think that'll look kind of nice, this piece of hickory. And when it gets up to the head of the tiller to fit into uh, the top of the rudder, we need it widened to one and a half inches. And so I thought, you know, why not put a sapele on the sides and then taper uh, the overall width down to the point. We'll see how that works out.